They might be forgiven for thinking their sacrifices have changed little. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera. Well, let's talk to Hossam El Hamalawi. He's a blogger and activist. He joins us live via Skype from Cairo. So, Hossam, yesterday we saw this female protester uh, being shot dead in Cairo. How much do you think this touches on the same issues of the 2011 uprising, freedom of expression, police brutality, the lack of accountability by the police? No, I think there is nothing more anecdotal uh, or symbolic of um, our current situation um, more than what happened yesterday, uh, four years after a, re a revolution that swept this country, uh, triggered mainly by the quest for social justice as well as an end to police brutality. Um, these two things have actually gone much, much, much worse. Uh, we stand at a situation that's even worse than the, the Mubarak days, four years after the revolution. And um, uh, in my own personal view, I think that the first wave of the Egyptian revolution has been defeated, and we have to be frank with ourselves uh, about this. Hossam, uh, yeah, I was going to ask you, though, um, according to Human Rights Watch, the issue of police impunity and brutality hasn't gone away. But let me ask you, I mean, are people's attitudes about the police and the justice system any different now than it was four years ago? Um, it, it's, it's very hard to pin, me, meaning the, um, the police force that we inherited uh, from the Mubarak's regime, which has gone nowhere, has actually become much more vicious and much more brutal. And uh, the same commanders, the same tactics that have been used under Mubarak are employed on steroids uh, under Sisi. Uh, but the people's attitudes are mixed, uh, meaning while the police force is still largely hated in Egypt, the security paranoia whipped up by the regime uh, because of the so-called war on terror um, can make some sections of the population uh, willing to endure such abuses for the sake of the common good, uh, as the media brainwashes them daily. Yeah, it's an interesting point you make, Hossam, about um, media and, and, and about abuses. I mean, what about press freedoms and social justice? I mean, journalists are still being imprisoned. I mean, Al Jazeera alone has got three journalists who are banged up in Egypt at the moment. But uh, we have this crackdown on the media that appears to have widened uh, since uh, Morsi was deposed. I mean, has that got worse, do you think? I think it has definitely got worse. Uh, there was a, a tiny window uh, of freedom, and uh, the margin for freedom of expression uh, expanded a little bit in the years of 2011 and 2012. Uh, but since the coup in 2013 onwards, definitely the situation has gone worse. Um, journalists are being imprisoned. Uh, on fabricated bogus charges. The privately owned media, as well as the state owned media, uh, are more or less uh, receiving directives on a daily basis from the military on how to cover this issue or how to cover that. Um, something that Egyptians know quite well. Any five year old in the street can tell okay. you that. But this was confirmed to us even more by the leaks that have been coming out from Sisi's office. Hossam, let me get a final thought from you. I mean, the rallying cry uh, of uh, the revolution was bread, freedom uh, and social justice. Let me ask you, I mean, do ordinary Egyptians feel that the revolution changed anything in a positive way or have things overall gone backwards, do you think? No, I think that the majority think that think that things have gone definitely backward and our situation is worse. But the question here is, uh, is that the end of the story or not? Uh, the two factors that trigger this revolution, whether it's social justice and police brutality, they are, they are there and they are becoming even worse and the problems are even more severe. People are exhausted after four years of revolution and revolting in the streets with casualties that have exceeded 5,000 people killed and more than 40,000 imprisoned. While I think that street action will remain not as strong as they were definitely during the early waves of the revolution, uh, but I think a revival is definitely expected in the future. All right. Uh, Hossam El Hamalawi. Hossam, thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us here on Al Jazeera.